table. So I promised a while ago that I would do a video about the guide bar. So this is a dedicated guide bar video, um, just stuff that you should pay attention to and also things that you can look at to see, kind of see the condition of your saw as well. So let's get into it right away. So it's really important to pay attention to your guide bar because you don't want to overheat your saw by having any problems with it. So what I do when I take off the bar to check it, the first thing would be to check that it is nice and straight. I would do that by just simply holding it up and looking down towards it. Um, of course, you can't really tell if it's just bent a little bit, but if it's really bended, you can definitely tell by looking like that. And then what I would do is I would look for wears and tears on the bar. Like for instance, on this bar, you can see that it's been worn out a bit more right here. So it's actually got a bit of a dent in there and nothing on the other side. So it would probably have been a good idea to turn this bar over once in a while so that it didn't get that dent there, but it would get an even wear on both sides. Then what I would do is I would look for any nicks on the bar, go all the way down like that. And here it's actually pretty visible. I don't know if you can see it on, maybe this camera can. There. The next right there, or this one maybe. Can you see it? <laughs> All right, so I will look for the nicks um, along the side of the bar, on both sides. And those I would remove simply by taking my flat file and just running it along the edge like that. So it's pretty simple. Um, you want it like smooth against the bar so you don't do any like crooked <laughs> strokes. But just like run it across the bar like that until you don't feel any nicks anymore. It can get quite sharp so I do recommend that you're wearing gloves when you're doing that because you don't want to cut yourself on the guide bar. And then something else I would look at would be the nose wheel. You want that to turn really smoothly, just no effort at all. And yeah, and this one does. With the steel guide bars, they are automatically lubricated by the chain oil. So there's no need to do any extra um, oiling of the nose wheel. That just happens uh, when you run the saw. But on some of the older bars and also on some of the other chainsaws, it's a good idea to lubricate the uh, nose wheel as well. All right, what else then? I of course look to see if the oil hole right here is uh, free with no, I, I recently cleaned this, so that's why it doesn't have anything on it. But I will check that the oil hole is clear. If it's not, I will um, clean it with compressed air and check that on both sides of your bar. Then I would also check that the, um, the holes up here are still even because that can tell me if the bar has been like wiggling around when it's been used. I don't want any of those to be out of the original shape. Then something else I would do is to clean the groove. I like using something like this or you can use like a thin screwdriver just to get everything that's stuck in here out. So always get something. You can also use compressed air and I do that as well, but it's nice just to use this to make sure that you get everything that might be stuck in there out. See, even now when I've cleaned it, it's got stuff in there. There we go. So get everything out. If you're using compressed air to clean this, it's really important that you do it um, away from your nose wheel. You don't want to give that a nice twist with the compressed air. So just blow down this way and get everything out like I'm doing right now, that way. All right. Um, something else to pay attention to, of course, you should look for any cracks or anything else on the bar. 
If it's cracked, I would definitely change it right away. And if it's got a dent like this bar right here, I would change it as well because I think this is pretty visible. Something else I can tell from this bar is that this saw has been running really, really hot. Because if you look at the bar right here, I don't know if you could see it in the video, otherwise I'll try to show you up there. It's got, um, or here, if you look here and here, this bar's got some blue discoloration, uh, which means that it's been running really, really hot. And that can either be the chain being too tight, um, a problem with your oil output, that it's simply not being oiled when it's running, or it can be the uh, groove in here being too tight so that the chain is being pinched. Uh, what else can it be? Pinch chain, too tight, not enough oil. Oh yeah, it can also be if you've got a really dull chain and push the chainsaw through, then it can also cause this discoloration because the saw is getting too hot when it's running. So it's really not good for your saw and, should, and you should pay attention to that. And when it's as hot as this, you should notice when you're running the saw because then smoke will come out when you're running it. So just uh, pay attention to that. If you see smoke from your bar, then you should probably check why it's running that hot. Yeah, it can be a lot of different things, but bottom line is that it's really not good for your saw or for your guide bar or your chain for that matter to have it running this hot. Okay, and just to show you, this is the exact same bar, but a brand new one. So as you can see, it's been worn out quite a lot down there. And um, yeah, actually not that much of the paint has come off, but you definitely see the wear at, in this end. So yeah, another bar, if you look at this guy bar right here, I don't think you can see it on the video, but this bar is, um, was bent. I think it might have been pinched or something like that, but it's just bent a little bit down here, uh, meaning that it's not straight anymore. So we decided to get a new guide bar. And as you can see, this one's been used quite a lot. Um, nothing else really wrong with the bar. The groove is the same size all the way around. You can get a special measuring thingy to see if they, the groove is the right um, size still. Um, but nothing really wrong with this bar except that it's bent. I guess you can try to straighten it again, but it's really hard to get it completely straight. And since it's already been worn this much, as much as it has, I would just go ahead and get a new bar. So yeah, I would look for that as well. And the paint coming off doesn't mean anything for your bar. Oh, you can So the paint on the bar doesn't really mean anything. Um, so it's not worn out just because it's got no paint left on it. Oh, that's something else that uh, can cause the saw running too hot. If your drive length thickness doesn't match the groove, you'll also get a, a bar that's really, really hot. And uh, if not, it'll run crookedly and then it's not good either. So make sure that you're getting a chain that actually fits the bar you're using. And you do have all the details for that in here on your bar. And then as I was saying, it doesn't really matter if the paint is on still or if it looks like this. So the paint has nothing to do with the actual condition of your bar. Um, some really like the 
bras to look like this because then they're using it more um, I don't care I think if if it looks like this it actually means that you're better at tightening the chain correctly so it doesn't wear out as quickly well that's it I would look for cracks dents check that it's straight um, check the nose wheel check the oil hole make sure to clean the groove and then I would of course remove all the nicks on the bar along the side all the way with my flat file and if I find any cracks or anything like that I would get a new guide bar it's really not that expensive and it's better for your saw to get one that's not messed up in any way so yeah that's just my opinion so I hope you enjoyed this video if you've got any other questions regarding the bar feel free to put them in the comments remember to subscribe and you can follow me on Instagram at female lumberjack see you soon